Hmm. Fuck, I got caught off guard. I can't lie. You know what? Actually, I think it's time to officially introduce rule number two to the channel. I mean, if you know rule number one already, then you should know rule number one. If you don't, it's, it's to your own, you know, demise. But, bro, it's... Rule number two, it should be stay hydrated, I think. You know, we should we should encourage healthy healthy habits on this on this <laughs> Rahala channel. You know, quite the quite the juxtaposition. Oh my days of vocabulary is is on point today, fam. Uh anyway, yeah. Uh I, I apologies for not upload yesterday. I um I just I thought I'd let you lot watch the Royale. If you were watching that, maybe you were watching the the, the boxing event that, that that took place and that we will never learn from that was supposed to be a recovery. It's embarrassing actually. Uh which, yeah, bro, you know, myself included, fam, I will actually never learn. All these influencer boxing events, like, it, they're always so shit. But it's it's like an endless cycle of just... It, well, you can start with the last one you watched. The last one you watched, you're thinking at the end of it, fucking hell, that was shit, that was disappointing. You know, I want my money back, I can't believe I... Uh, you, bro, it's like sometimes you'll illegally stream it and you'll still want your money back. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you feel bad for the brother that bought it to illegally stream it. Because it's so fucking disappointing. And it, oh man, it's just how it goes every single time. And then, and then the next one comes around, and then you get gassed for it. <laughs> and then, well, actually, you just failed rule number one. That's why you need to keep rule number one in your fucking mind at all times. Because then, yeah, like I said, the next one comes around, you get hyped, you get excited for it. It's shit as well. And then just, just, it just over and over again. Like, let's don't watch that. Just don't watch that. Also, apologies for my um, my face cam today. Uh, there's. Fucking hell, bro. It feels like, a, like I'm playing a Battlefield game, fam. All the glare. I don't know why. I think it might just be the time of, the time of day I'm recording, but I don't know. I tried to get rid of it. I couldn't, so you just have to fucking excuse it uh, for now. It means you have to see less of me, which is, you know, maybe some will be happy. Some maybe not so much. Who knows? Uh, anyway, um, yeah, point of today's video, though, uh, unless I had anything else to say, I don't think I did. Uh, quickly, it's not a very long point, is... It's been, bro, all the time, when, whenever you see a new pro player pop up, you always hear talks of, oh my days, are we actually entering like a, like a new era of Brahalla? Or every time like a, like an old pro, pro <laughs> fucking hell man, it's doomed, it's doomed. An old pro player becomes washed. It's always, like I said, you hear the same talks of, oh, this, this actually might be the new era of Brahalla, you know, you know, all these, all these new players popping up, all these old players are getting worse. I don't think brothers are realizing, like we've been in this new era it's not new because you've been in it for so fucking long at this point like it's it, it, bro all your favorite pro players from from back in the day i mean obviously it depends how long you've been playing the game if you've not been playing very long then you know all your favorite pro players are, are still pro they're still prospering but you've been playing for a while or you know you were there around like the the golden era the golden age of the the, the bradley esports fuck it i'll rematch him bro I, I, the queue seems quite dead. I can't lie. I played a couple of warm up games. I could not find any fucking diamond players. So we'll fucking rematch it, fam. I'm not playing flat or all videos. It's just not the vibe. Um, but yeah, like I said, if if you if you're around for the golden era, golden age, all the pros are washed, fucking washed, wrenched, washed. I don't think he's not even going to BCX. Boomy's washed. I think Impala's already quit the game, and he was he's only just bro. That that's a recent pro as well. That's a very recent pro. You know, all these pro players, Lil Cap, I throw wow, all gone. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, we've been in this new era, quote unquote, for so fucking long. It's not a new era. <laughs> like, I don't think brothers realize that. Like, it is the only player who's like stood the test of time. Unless I'm forgetting someone. Uh, I, I, there's more in EU, but uh, like, if we're talking NA, it is just Sandstorm. Because for some reason, he's, he's, you know, made a fucking comeback and he's. He's prospering again now, even though, well, even at one point, even Sandstorm was fucking washed, fam. You know, uh, when he when he when he left to multiverses, like Corselix is washed. Yeah, all these. I mean, and I don't mean any offense when I say this, bro, but I think I mean the players themselves would probably also agree that they're washed because it it's inevitable, you know. Uh, time. time wait, it's not even a time thing. I think brothers just just get fucking bored. I mean, there's only so long you can play Brahala professionally, bro. I you know I hop on the game, I play experimental for a little bit, and I'm fucking mentally drained. You know, imagine being a, a pro player, having to keep up with the with the meta, having to practice the game like constantly and consistently. Bro, you'd just be depressed. I I failed the quick time event, man. I failed the fucking quick time event. Also, this brother's running for his fucking life and it's jarring. I should not have rematched him. Is the last thing I should have done, actually. He's dead. Finally. Oh my god, that doesn't kill. And I missed that D like. Yeah, well, this is don't ever rematch. 
Save yourselves the fucking hassle. Dead. Oh my days, please. Surely. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I literally have no point to the video. Like, I, I, that's it. That's all I had to say, bro, is is just, yeah. Uh, I think the thing that made me realize it was just hearing that even fucking Luna might become washed in. Because, <laughs> bro, I'm hearing that Muna took some fucking, like, because there's always some new players popping up. Always, like, in this game. Uh, and, and, and bro, Muna taking games of, or, or beating Luna in the Royale for some games is just fucking crazy to me. Because Muna was, uh, he was literally just a ranked warrior. Like, I think, and do you know what it is? A lot of people just kind of, it's just, I've talked about this like with weapons before, but it's like, you know when Hammer is shit for a long time, for example, right? And then it gets buffed. People always have that idea in their heads for like a long time, even though it's been buffed, that it's shit, just because it was shit for so long. It's the same with these like good and bad players, you know? Some, like a player that's known as a ranked warrior, even when they become pro, they'll still be known as a ranked warrior, just because no way you touch from that. Fucking hell, this is actually... <laughs> he actually locked in the Zoro just to taunt me. He, he won. Oh, sorry, he lost. Got the rematch and just locked in the most fucking AIDS legend you could think of. Anyway, um... But yeah, I think it's the same thing with pro players, man. Because Muna, to me... Oh, I just remember him as... Just just some... He's, he was a shitter, fam. He was he's just a ranked warrior. Same with Skeldra. Just, just some great sword, you know, ranked warrior. And now they're both PR, like, PR6, PR8. Like, if it was not clear before that we're in, like, a... Like I said, new era of Brahala. It should be very fucking clear now that, that we are. Um, I don't know. It's sad to see though, because I, I mean, obviously, like, you know, all these old pros that we, we enjoyed to watch were once also new to the pro scene. But I feel like for a lot of us, it's like we, we came into the game and they were already pro, you know, because they've been around for so fucking long, like like Wrench. You know, I, I was not around before Wrench. Wrench was already pro when I was around. Sandstorm was as well. Boomy was as well. You know, all, all these players, you know, um, but now it's like, you know, you actually get to see them. It's a blessing and a curse, you know? Like I said, all the older ones become washed and, you know, they don't they do not do as well. But you, you get to see new players kind of improve, which maybe that's like a less of an interesting thing because I feel like it's maybe more interesting when you come to the game, right? And you see this player who's been here and he's just, he's just a GOAT. And it's like, you know, it, it kind of... I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's less magical i guess and i'm not talking from personal experience nothing about this game is magical it makes me want to fucking hang sorry i don't know what came over me there uh but you know what i'm saying for the newer players i feel like maybe it's like a little bit less because it like it, they're they're more human then you know what i'm saying the newer player but then maybe it could it could inspire newer players as well because then newer players can be like they can see the rise of people and know that you know it's still possible because that's the question i even get asked a lot from you lot is that you know is it still possible to become pro in the game and it's like, yeah, 100%. You're seeing people do it. You're seeing people who were... And it's not that they, you know, have just come from being fucking gold to being pro. But, you know, they, they weren't, like, fantastic players. And, okay, I mean, I say that it's, like, all relative. You know, they weren't fantastic compared to pros. But, you know, compared to a gold, they obviously were. Like, 2,500 is not fantastic. You know, but it's, you know... Th that, that's literally the, the level that, you know, some of the newer pros now are at. I, I'm talking about Europe. I don't think there's anyone like that in NA, really. Unless there is, and I'm forgetting, but yeah, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, that that is that that's basically it for the, the point of the video, though. I can't lie. Uh, also, fuck. I'm actually. I'm just. Y you know, I was talking that, like the other video about um, the expenses of climbing, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I was basically talking about that because I had to buy new climbing shoes because mine just they got too worn down, so I had to get them resold. And it takes so fucking long for them to get resold, so I had to buy a new pair in the meantime. Uh, yeah, buying a new pair of climbing shoes. I don't think this is a, even a relatable thing to anyone other than climbers. Maybe maybe ballet dancers, fan. And not like I'm, you know. I, I don't want to be associated with ballet dancers. I mean, obviously to each their own, but you know, it's a bit zesty for me. Uh, personal taste anyway. But, uh, bro, it's the fucking shoes. Okay context yeah i'm a street size 10 you know uh and 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 i fuck it uk i don't know what that is in american size but yeah uh climbing shoes street size oh street size I don't even fucking make sense climbing shoes size seven i'm three sizes down fam <laughs> it's pain it's fucking pain they stretch like half a size but that's the thing right is you have to and you can imagine this isn't even like uh, this is why i'm, I'm talking about it because i don't think you have to even climb or, or anything to understand what i'm going through right now or to understand the, the fucking struggle because it's 
let's say for a perfect fit because you want a perfect fit you know you don't want your foot you know slipping and sliding inside the fucking sheet you know you you, you want a good fit oh he's letting me get a weapon uh, I, I see I see uh but um yeah so like i said if the shoe over time will stretch like half a size or, or maybe more you want to go because you're already downsizing a lot from that but you want to go even you know lower so that when it stretches to the perfect size it, you know it or like it will stretch to the perfect size and you don't get the perfect size straight away which will then stretch to a non-perfect size does that make sense hopefully it makes sense so yeah man you, you, you just have to be in fucking pain and agony like if you want a perfectly you know fitting shoe it's it, yeah i don't know and but okay keep in mind as well it's not even just like your because like, you're probably imagining downsizing like a, you know going from like size 10 to 7 in like a, like a jordan shoe or something like that no fam it's it's like the shoe is like a it's like banana shaped right where the the heel is pointed downwards and so is the oh oh my oh, the, oh what the fuck i'm the goat what the fuck what even just happened fam okay well anyway like the heel is pointed downwards and the toes pointed downwards and then the middle of the shoe is like curved upwards does that make sense so like an upside down banana right uh so yeah it's oh yeah say i'm the goat and then i miss the freest damage of my fucking life catch his dodge um i don't know man yeah it's, 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 it's i don't know I, I've, I think i've said this before on the channel but it's like I, I have i i don't even know if i have talked about this i hate no i must have surely i don't know either way i fucking hate being limited by things when it comes to things i'm improving on does that make sense like so with climbing it's like even when i was shit i'm still not like you know very good you know but better um but it's like even with brawl as well i just i hate wanting to improve at something and not even feeling limited by something but being able to be limited by something does that make sense so like for example with brawl even if i was gold right i would want a 360 hertz monitor right and if I wanted to improve at the game, that is. Because I wouldn't want anything holding me back other than myself. Does that make sense? I mean, at the same time, it's like you kind of got the training weights on. Like if, if you're playing 60 hertz and then you reach diamond, you know, when you, when you go up or, you know, you're playing console and then you reach diamond, you know, when you then move to a PC, you're going to improve a lot. Um, but at the same time, I, I would just want it from the start so that, like, all the improvement comes from me and not, like, external factors. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And, you know, maybe, maybe some of you can relate, but I just, I hate the feeling of being limited by something when it comes to, you know, something I want to improve at. Because it's, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I want to know my actual level. Do you get what I'm saying? So I can, like, I can, I can gauge, you know, what exactly it is I need to work on, you know? Because do I need to work on my reaction times or is it just my fucking monitor? Or is it like, do I need to work on my footwork when I'm climbing or do I just have shit shoes? Like, do you get what I'm saying? I forgot to mention as well, like, it's not... The toe box as well, fam, is like pointed. So all your toes are getting mashed together while your foot is at like in a banana shape, while your free size is down. Yeah, it's just peak, man. So I've been, uh, well, I, yeah, the point I was originally trying to make was I, I've just been fucking wearing them in the, in the house to try and get fucking used to it. Or, well, not get used to it, but you know what I'm saying? Make the shoe get used to me, is, is what I meant to say there. Um, fucking stretch a little bit. Because I'm going later today. And it's going to be the most painful fucking session I think I've had in recent memory. Since I got my, my, my first pair of shoes. Um, or second pair, actually. But yeah, well, since I got my, my latest pair of shoes. Fucking hell, bro. It's just pain, man. It's actually just... Which is like I said. Like, you know, like the pointed toe box is... It's like, you know, probably the, the ballerinas of the world. The, you know, the ballet dancers can fucking relate to that one. Which, by the way, never Google a picture of, like, ballet dancers feet or... Probably don't Google pictures of feet anyway, unless you're, you know, just, that's what you're into, I guess. But uh, yeah, fucking hell, man. I remember one time I, I got told to do that and I was getting fucked up. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's, they're, they're fucked. They're so fucked. Even basketball players, actually, you know, shoes are actually like really fucking bad for us. And not to sound like some fucking hippie brother, some sweaty, smelly hippie brother, like, but it's, do you get what I'm saying? It's actually, they're not designed well for feet. Like, people, like, if you had gone barefoot all your life, your feet would look so much different than they do now. Which is like, everyone wears shoes, so we're all used to, 
like just that that's how feet look but you know if we'd never worn shoes and shoes were a new thing like we'd, we'd you know be fucking surprised you'd look at your children and be like fuck you know why are their feet looking like that fam because yeah they all like i don't know like they're they're just not designed well for like the actual like it, like if you put your foot against the, the sole of your shoe you would you would see what i mean i mean the fucking climbing shoe is my foot doesn't fit against the sole of the bottom like that that's to put into perspective uh but but you know like just your regular street shoe your foot probably won't fit like perfectly either like your toes would be like hanging out the sides and stuff and you're like how the fuck's my foot actually going there when you actually deep it so um i don't know uh i don't know what, what the the message is here because i'm not going to tell you to go walk around barefoot everywhere <laughs> but you know i guess yeah maybe size up in your shoes or something like that no then you've got the floppy fucking clown shoes you look like a joke man i don't know what the solution actually is if you want me to be genuine with you i, I think i'm actually not sure i know that they've, they've started to make shoes now that actually the sole of the shoe is the shape of your foot so you know if it actually fits in the shoe how it should be but yeah or you could wear those fucking finger fit the toe shoes you know what i'm saying no the fuck <laughs> like a glove like the oh what the fuck would you what would you even call them you know what i'm talking about if you ever play dying light which oh what a banger serious fucking banger uh you will know like the toe shoes where it's like the shoe is like a glove but you know your toes like finger gloves wait finger gloves oh i just said finger gloves. fuck I don't, I don't know why in my head then i just imagined all gloves were like shoes and they went over your hands and then I thought finger gloves were a special thing where each of your fingers were individual. Fucking hell, I've lost, I've lost my fucking head, man. I've actually lost my head. On that note, I'm to end the video. Anyway, payment for who is zooming in on will be bubonic. Bubonic. Fucking hell, man. And then let me shout out the channel members. <laughs> Moral, Mark Brandenburg, Eric Sol Cage, and World Pokey Sushi, Fish 62, Atomo, Nova Falls, Ashbit Singh, Kenji, Jukai, Equest, and Glory. Bargain Builds, Spatula, Raskari, Dinner Jelly, Hegemony X9, McKee, Red Room, Lighter, Brandon Murray, Maxwell Podcast, Tepco RT, Up and MC, Pinnacle, Ice, Wallow, Edit, Slush, Lequant, Atomic Wall, Luzio, Captain Law, Hammy, Awesome, Controller Mod, Strong Dog, Colorful Alchemy, J, Flashy, A Fat Melt, and Andy Nocturne. Thank you all so much. You're all the goats. And I really, really and truly mean it when I say you all help support me like, so much. And for that, I'm very grateful. And you should know that by now. But of course, Every day, I gotta say it because I am very fucking grateful. Uh, especially Red Room and Random Murray for the diamond tier but This is insane. And um, yeah, until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good rest of your days. I love you all. Shut up and peace.